you put a finger on my sister, I guarantee your head pop, pop, pop just like blister. I might smile and grin, but trust me, darling, when it comes to what's good everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new it's a girl missus and i'm back with another video so today as you can see by the title i'm going to be testing out a newish foundation a new formula and it is the total drop pro liquid foundation so we're just gonna get down to the t if you do like this type of makeup content and you're new make sure you do subscribe i would really appreciate it put your post notifications on to all and also thumbs up this video because it helps me out a lot and without further ado let's get right into the video i haven't actually used or ever tried the original total drop foundation so when they came up with this pro i was quite curious so i can't really give you guys a fair comparison between the old and the new version but i'm going to give you guys some description also they've made this completely clean so it's 100 percent clean vegan and cruelty friendly as well and yeah that's so that's pretty much what i know of reasons why but if you guys know any more information please feel free you know to leave a little comment down below okay so the description from the uk nyx website is a skin true breathable coverage a lightweight formula gives skin natural healthy looking finish whilst minimizing the appearance of imperfection and keeping the skin looking hydrated no ashiness no cakiness and no greasiness obviously the more drops you um, apply the more coverage so you can build this up from a share to a full coverage i do have no one to dry combination skin I can do a little bit of a demi matte as long as it doesn't suck me dry and my skin at the moment is pretty much 100% no I lie pretty much 98% normal um but yeah we're just gonna see what this foundation is all about so I got my one from look fantastic it has 13 mils so that is little to none and I'm not too sure how many shades I have in total if I can find it I'll pop it on the screen but also leave it in the description box below however I do have a affiliate discount code so if you use my code which I'll pop it on the screen you can also get 20% off pretty much all the products on look fantastic minus like the exclusive products so yeah so that's where I got my one from so the shade that I got is Coco and I just blindly just pick that shade up because I do have the shade Coco in the Born to Glow foundation so this is described as deep with red undertones on the NYX website really find out what the undertone is the Born to Glow I will also pop it on the screen but that's what it says so we're gonna see what it's saying but usually when I get a shade from a brand um, and I have like different complexion products I usually think or assume that it just corresponds you know across the board but I mean I know about that one yeah so we're just gonna see face is clean and bare brows are done I use the NYX full on fluff full on feel of something pencil so that's what I use for my brows but for primer I'm going to use a combination of the marshmallow primer from NYX and also the bear with me hydrating a water jelly uh, okay so the shade doesn't look too bad from the bottle it's so tiny though like so looking at it from the container it looks promising it actually does look promising okay so it's not too dribbly drop drop let me just swatch it on the face ah oh, primed my face I always do this oh it's too late now but ooh the match is not too bad. So let me just quickly swatch the Born to Glow this way. This is actually one of my favorite drugstore or affordable foundations to use. And once again, this is in the shade Coco. Yeah, it actually looks the same. That looks the same, innit? Quite <laughs> with my bad self. The same. So let me just wipe this off. We can't bother for prime that area now, y'all. Yeah? So let's just get into this foundation. I need a mirror. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not as... Oh, am I too bright? But yeah, um, that's definitely not as liquidy as I've seen it online. Ooh, and it feels really nice on the skin already, you know? Unless I'm, unless I'm being a little bit gassed. I don't know, but let me just see. Has a little smell. Not disturbing. Ooh. Hey, it looks really warm on camera, but I promise you that like, in person, it doesn't actually look that warm. And it feels so nice to blend. I can't really explain it. I can't explain the texture, but it's a really nice texture. It's not like your typical liquid texture. It's like, 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But considering how much I've used from the foundation, and I've literally just spreaded the foundation off the syringe, and maybe like two little drops, I think that is really nice coverage. That is nice. In terms of the finish, I still see my hydrating primer underneath, so it doesn't give me the immediate effect of it being a matte finish. So I do understand what they mean about Demi Matte because it's not like a glowy foundation. It may look deceiving on camera because obviously with the lighting, but it's definitely not a hydrating foundation. And once it's dry, I can tell it's gonna give me like a type of velvety finished texture. It feels so lightweight. I feel like I've got hardly anything on my face. The coverage is beautiful. I do, uh, excuse me, I do like the shade of it. Mm. No, sir. This is actually really nice. <laughs> but wait. By the way, if you see any bits on my lips, it's because I like to use the Sugar Lip Scrub from Beauty Bakery. Um, so, just excuse that. But this is my face after about five minutes. And I would say, mm, it may not show off on camera though, but I definitely say in person, it has dried down. It's very comfortable. Like, I don't feel dry. My skin doesn't feel like stretched or anything like that it really does feel nice on the skin um, it definitely has dried down because it's not as tacky as it was before it will probably still transfer because I haven't set it my hands are dirty girl overall I really like this finish now I hope it remains like this and gives me the sort of skin like look because when I start to add a little bit more on my face that's where things can go left so let's just see how this goes I'm gonna add some concealer I love to use it's a born to scroll this blah, 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 blah. Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. This is in the shade Golden Honey. Now, you know I used to love a good, bright under eye, but I'm starting to like dim that down a little bit. So I'm gonna mix off my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in the shade NW40, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of the NYX on top, just for it to not look a little bit too highlighted i do like to use the born to glow foundation in the shade deep walnut um just to cream contour because it is a little bit dark for me so i do like to use this just to cream contour you know pull it into use and while that concealer is still semi tacky that's when i'm gonna use a little bit of the born to glow I don't really have a chance to powder from NYX, so I'm just going to use my Beauty Bakery one in the shade Plantain, which I can just see like my dryness on my nose has been slightly emphasised. So that's the only thing that I have noticed so far, but it's not that bad. So, okay, so concealer. Oh, I got dirt in my shirt, girl. Mm -mm. Don't worry, I'm going to change anyway. That is that. And what we're going to do, I'm going to set, no, I'm going to add some cream blush. The blush I'm going to use is the Sweet Cheeks um, Soft cheeks tint in the shade bombshell you guys know i love me my almost famous but trying to give her a little bit of a rest so i'm going to use this one today i don't have a bronzer from nyx so i'm just going to use the one from beauty bay in the shade oak now i do love chestnut she is a little bit red but i decided to use oak today so i'm going to use a little bit of oak just to bronze up the skin girl okay so i'm gonna add a little bit of blush on top of my cream one and um, so once again in with sweet cheeks but this is the matte formula one in the shade risky business i'm gonna use her and look a bit risky oh lord i know it looks a little bit in your face but you know i have to apply a lot of blush because my blush tends to disappear girl so i might be I might be focused. I might be looking like a clown right now, but it's okay. I'm leaving my eyes to last because I'm not too sure if I'm gonna apply some eyeshadow or not. I'm not really too sure, but I'm gonna add some highlighter and I'm gonna go in with the high gloss. Once again from NYX. This is in the shade Golden Hour. Love the shade. This if you're about this glowing live and you want something that's literally lit from within, this is this is your baby girl, right? 
this is your friend. Okay, so considering that I haven't used like an all over face powder, my face is actually quite matte. So if you are normal to dry skin, which I actually forgot to mention, did I mention it? I don't really know. But if you are normal to dry skin like myself, you wouldn't need a face powder to set your face unless you want to, of course. Oily combination people them, you know what you gotta do. So this still looks quite matte for me, where I've only used powders in my concealed area. And then I'll probably get back a little bit ba ba boom but yeah let me see what I'm gonna do with my eyes and then um we're just gonna see it together because I don't even know what I'm doing with myself right now so we will just see in the next clip okay guys so I've done a little bit of something something with my eyes um because really truly I want to film a reel so if you don't follow me on Instagram make sure you do it's missy.sid I'm also wearing Nella Rolls in collaboration with Skinny Dip and it's the are you not embarrassed <laughs> her little merch t-shirt here and just for reference I did use the Jackie Aina in collaboration with ABH palette which is just gorgeous stunning palette and that's what I got on the eyes girl so I'm gonna set my face and add some lip products um, and just a little bit of an update because I have been off the camera for about an hour and a half now because you know mama has to do what she gotta do and yeah this is what my face is looking like so I feel like the longer this foundation sits on my face the more matte it becomes so I'm gonna set my face with the NYX radiant finish set spray okay so for my lips today I'm gonna use the morphe lip liner in a shade trendsetter I'm gonna use one of the NYX suede is it suede matte lipstick and this is in the shade free spirit and it's a beautiful pinky nudie shade so what i'm gonna do is wear this makeup for only a few hours i'm definitely not gonna do a 12 hour wear test i'm just pretty much just gonna try to do like other content do little bits and pieces around the house and all that goodness and just to see how this actually holds up especially on my skin type but let me see what she's saying and i will be back with you guys very shortly so i am back and it's been about four hours yeah coming up to five hours actually okay so i've had this on my face for about five hours longer than i expected and this is what my face pretty much looks like after five hours i did pop out obviously i've been in the house you know majority of the time but i did pop out my face literally looks the same like i do feel like my face looks the same i think that my blush has probably disappeared a little bit obviously my lipstick is not looking like you know proper prim right and i wished in a way that i tested out the first original one just to like have a bit of a comparison but i really do like this foundation it's very comfortable blends out easily it's got a really nice soft velvety texture to it you can definitely have like share to full coverage and the amount that i've applied I literally got a good the shade is nice considering it says that is a red undertone after when it is dried I didn't really see the red undertone and I'm not complaining sis because you know me I can do a little bit of red warm and more of a golden undertone type of gal but this was a nice comfortable wearable red undertow foundation I like the fact that it's not too liquidy when you pour it out of the syringe and i think that's part of the reasons why i didn't get original one because i'm a clumsy gal when it comes to makeup and i'm not about really ruining my house and my clothes and all that shenanigans just to put some foundation on my skin girl overall i actually really enjoyed this yes i did get a little bit of a dryness right here on my nose and yes there is a little bit of separation around my smile lines um from that i have no major complaints besides the only thing what i do not understand is why is this 30 mils like i don't get it because the born to glow foundation is what 30 mils or 25 30 mil and this retails for about 10 pounds why is this 16 pounds at full price for 13 mils i just i just don't get that like what was what was the mass behind it like what was the reason i, I don't understand because this will be finished in 2.5 seconds like literally especially if you're a full coverage type of gal and you actually enjoy this you're gonna finish this in in no time so that's the only thing where i'm a little bit mm, like why did they do that but, but in terms of how it performed on my skin type the finish and everything else i actually love this type of semi or demi matte formula this is something that i can agree with you did get the original first total drop foundation let me know what you thought about that and if you are going to pick up the pro one but that is pretty much my two cents 
any of this mix up so you guys let me know what you think about the foundation in general if you do have it thank you so much for watching i will leave all the details in the description box below as per usual make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up and i would love to see you guys in my next one bye and boom step on the tune like big up my sisters